isang magandang Webes sa inyong lahat. February 24 na. At bukas po ay isang holiday. Ito po yung the 36th anniversary of the People Power Revolution. Yan po, no? 36 years ago ay pinaalis po sa Malacanang ang pamilyang Marcos. At yan po ang sineselebrate po bukas. And alam nyo po, noong 1986, ako po ay uh, nag-work uh, na. And I was one of those people who was in EDSA. Okay? Kasi we had enough of the Marcos regime. Okay. Ngayon po, if this is your first time in this channel, ako po si Benji Chidoro. Isang retired bank officer na nagsimula mag-invest sa Philippine stock market noong 2007 and I do this report every day which I started August of 2020. I also report the latest news on your favorite and most active stocks. If you like the content, I invite you to subscribe to my channel. If you have stocks in mind that you want reviewed, comment lang po sa comment box at aking iprioritize. By the way, hindi po ako financial advisor. Anything I say on this channel should not be construed as financial advice. Ang ating financial news ay tungkol sa OLHC at ang resulta ng trading sa ating PSE ngayong araw, February 24, 2022, dito lamang sa the stock market today. Okay, so let's now go to our main news or headlines muna. Shares drop on escalating Russia-Ukraine crisis. And then PSE index inches lower ahead of BSP decision. Actually, wala po akong makita ang ibang magandang news. Ano? Kung titingnan naman po natin ang top stories. Senate unlikely to give nod to RCEP. Ang RCEP po ay ang Regional Comprehensive Economic Partnership Agreement. But uh, let's go to our main news on All HC. Okay, Ayala Unit posts 11% profit growth as economy reopens. Ayala Land Logistics Holdings Corp or All HC reported income and revenue growth in 2021 as the economy continues to see demand for industrial lots as the company increased its leasable area by 8%. In a statement on Wednesday, All HC said its business gained momentum due to the country's economic reopening. The company reported a net income of 780 million in 2021, an 11% increase from the 702.8 million the company logged in 2020. Despite the ongoing crisis, all HCs showed commendable operations in 2021. Our performance remained sound and we posted healthy growth enabling us to carry on with our growth aspiration. All HC President and Chief Executive Officer Maria Rowena M. Tomeldan said, All HC registered a 7% top-line growth last year to $3.99 billion from $7.32 billion in 2020. The company's total warehouse gross leasable area increased 8% to 224,000 square meters from 207,000 square meters. The company's industrial lot sales grew 62% to $2.05 billion from $1.27 billion year on year. The revenues from its warehouse leasing business grew 16% to $404 million from $348 million in 2020. However, earnings from its commercial leasing segment declined by $419 million, 20% lower than the $526 million generated in 2020. Okay, so yun po ang ating pinaka main news today at um, titignan po natin ang All HC Mamia. In the meantime, let me 
acknowledge some of our subscribers here who made comments. Okay, ang sabi po ni tingnan natin dito lang sa comments. Okay. Okay, ang sabi po ni Ricardo Atilano. Thanks, Sir Bench. I'm very excited para makaipon ng mas malaking halaga para makabili ng maraming shares. I think he's referring to all uh, Cebu Pacific, brother. And then, ang sabi ko naman sa kanya, thank you, but I'd, I advise you to go to do your own research. No? Tingnan niyo po, no? bago kayo bumili, ay mag-research po muna kayo. Ang sa akin lang po ay sarili ko pong pananaw po yung aking sinasabi dito like yung aking technical sa Cebu Pacific sa rin pananaw ko po yun. Okay? So, thank you. And uh, sabi niya po, I, I'm still learning though. Maraming po salamat, uh, Rick. Okay, so let's now go to the Philippine Stock Exchange and the Philippine Stock Exchange Index and how it performed today. Okay. The Philippine Stock Index ended lower 151.98 points down or 2.06% napakalaki ng bagsak nyo kasi yung previously it was at 2.18% but this is slightly lower yung bagsak nyo noong February 11 so this is this almost equals no so yung pinaka support po natin actually this is already sitting on support Yan po, yung 22 or 7200, the next support level actually is here. Yan po, yung 7024. So, yan po yung um, aking tingin sa Philippine Stock Index. At yan po yung mga supports po niya. So, I think what's happening is that um, the market is uh, jittery no? about the... Ukrainian and Russian standoff in Europe and that's affecting the market. So you market summary naman, 168 companies declined, 43 advanced while 34 remained unchanged. The all share index also declined but it's almost, it's just lower, no? 1.91 points or 75 points down. All our sectoral indices are down except mining, which ended at 0.13% in the green, while the industrials led the losers at 2.85%. So let's look at the most active stocks. We'll be looking at all HC, ICT, MBT, BDO, SMPH, and SM. So in top six, except for all HC. So all HC naman is putahan natin naku si All HC I ended with a hammer and it opened at 484 a little bit higher but it ended at 80 centavos lower but uh, this is a good sign since this is a weak red candlestick you know? yung ating support nandito po sa area ng to Yan, nasa 452, while the resistance of all HC, we can place it here at 515, the nearest resistance. Yung next naman natin, ICICT. Okay, ICT ended with the red candlestick at 210. However, it is still above the support level of EMA50. So, if we will be drawing a parallel channel, it follows the 50-day exponential moving average. And uh, the lower channel is our support that's at uh, 203, while 221 is our resistance. So, it's still moving upward except that it had a red candlestick. Today, RSI is neutral at 50.56. And then MBT. Yeah, and MBT also ended in the red. However, our indicators are still under the candlestick, indicating a bullish trend. So I think this the market sentiment is on is temporary and it's time to pick up bargains. No, because when external news 
apektado po tayo. But of course, when this is resolved, then you know that you picked up a bargain. Okay? So, pataas po siya. Uh, yung trend, I mean. So, let's draw also a parallel channel which follows the MA50. Yan. Okay? So, the lower channel would be our support at 57.61. The upper channel is our resistance at 63.31. And based on our indicators, pataas pa rin po ang trend ni Metrobank. Then, another bank, BDO. Yan, naku, red engulfing, candlestick siya, no? Unlike Metrobank na maliit lang and uh, ICT, no? BDO is a red engulfing candlestick. And it is now at support level. Yan, nasa support level na po siya. And if this continues downwards, the next support level would be here at 126.35 or very near the 20-day or 100-day exponential moving average and if the trend is not reversed the next uh, trading day then I would say that generally the stock will already be bearish and then after BDO SM Prime SM Prime naman naku red engulfing candlestick bullish na nga, no? But there is a red candlestick here, but still the closing price is higher than our EMA20, indicating that there is still this trend going on. RSI is a bit higher at 55, and yung ating mga indicators are still under the candlestick. Ngayon, yung pinaka support point niya ay nandito po sa 37.42 and the resistance of SMPH Let's do a one-week chart. Nandito po sa area ng to. Nasa 40.04. So malapit na pa lang ma-achieve. 40 to 41 po ang nearest resistance niya. Finally, we have SM. Si SM ay, balik natin sa one day, ay naku, talagang akala ko, well, actually this is consolidation. Ano nangyayari niya dito in two red candlesticks ay consolidation ang nangyayari. Ulitin natin. Yan. Yung dalawang red. Ano? Kasi po, uh, these candlesticks are still a bit higher than the green candlestick here. No? So, sort of a two-day uh, rest period for the stock. But still, I believe that SM is a good stock and therefore will rise again. And the price now is cheap it's a bargain 871 compared at this level at 793 and if you will measure that between here and this if you will buy if you were able to buy at the lower level that would be dito halimbawa nakabili kayo at, op at the opening price that would be a 13 percent increase no kung marireach po niya yung resistance level Dito. Okay, yan po ang ating report sa stock market, February 24, 2022. Ito si Benji Chidoro. Nagpapaalala, ang investment in knowledge pays the best interest. Maraming salamat sa inyong pagtangkilik. Hanggang sa muli, happy weekend, happy long weekend. Stay safe, God bless, and bye for now.